Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube, man? Hey, yo, man, I decided to do a video and show my workout doing chest and back. And a lot of times when we do chest and back, we make it too complicated. So when I first started getting the results with my chest or back, I mainly did push-ups for my chest. Then I came to find out that pull-ups was, was the thing that I need to do to make my, my chest that much better. So I had to make my back better to make my chest better and a lot of times we go to the gym and we focus on one or the other you got to put them both together so i'm gonna show y'all a good chest and back workout we getting covered chuck if you ain't hit that like button hit the like button hit that subscribe button i got way more videos to come and i'm just teaching man showing what i do because we're getting covered chuck so come on with me too peace no you know what i'm saying i appreciate my family and friends i'm at the secret location with this right here. It's called the key, baby. Fifty pull ups. Let's go. Now I try to do pull ups every day. Now, I know sometimes I don't go all the way down, but I definitely flex my back every time I come up. You know what I'm saying? It's a good old-fashioned chest and back workout today. You know what I'm saying? Quarantine workout. I can't be a coach slash trainer slash fitness motivator if the teacher himself ain't practicing what he preaching. So since we've been shut down, I've been going and doing all the things I can do to still lead by example, to find time for my journey. You know, that's what we got to do. We got to take time to find time. You know what I'm saying? It's not an all-day event. It's an everyday thing. You know what I'm saying? I try to knock out 50 in the world, even if they is half reps, but they all squeeze reps, and that's using my traps and my lats all together and trying to use minimum arm as possible but your arms definitely gonna help a little bit especially when you get tired you know what i'm saying i did over 50 so i went back you know what i'm saying i went back because i'm trying to have a good back man you can't have a good back without a good chest and you can't have a good chest without a good back and the back is definitely bigger than the chest so i do way more exercises for the back and i always follow that up with a chest exercise you know what I'm saying? Mostly body weight today. I'm going to finish off with some dumbbells. I'm going to do some hyper extensions for my lower back. And I'm basically doing pull-ups for my, for my main back exercise. Followed by a fly, chest fly, just to hit the opposite muscle, get the chest going. And I try to squeeze and breathe. All chest. It's like doing a push-up in the air. You know what I'm saying? Flexing your chest hard as you can. Lifting your chest up off your back. And if your back is flexed, it almost makes you stronger for doing chest. At least that's how I feel. Hyperextensions. Lower back. It's going to help with your posture. It's going to help with that Christmas tree down low in the back. You know what I'm saying? When I get rid of that back fat, these muscles I'm working on right here are going to really show. You know what I'm saying? But the back fat gonna come with diet. I'm gonna lose that, getting that diet together. And I finish off with some standing rows, some Yate rows with the dumbbells. Shout out to Dorian Yates, man. I'm trying to work out like the greats. You know what I'm saying? Do it my own way. Chest and back day, baby. Getting covered, Chuck. Peace.